Hey guys, what is going on? I'm here back with another video and today I have a very exciting article that I want to talk about. Now, this article emphasizes the recent price action that XRP has been showing and, and there's been this triangle that's been forming and now we're wondering if there's going to be a breakout. Now, this article is uh, is titled XRP's four-year triangle breakout nearing could 60 cents be the start of a rally. Now, honestly, this sounds like it's like it's potentially going to happen very soon. And I'll tell you why. There's a lot of positive indicators that we're looking at. Now, there's not only the chart technical indicators, the RSI, the EMA, all of these different technical things you can look at. But besides that, Fed's dropped, uh, Fed's dropped the interest rate by 50 points. There's been uh, a lot more uh, volume when it comes to the crypto market. There's been a lot more bullish signals that we've been seeing over the past couple of months. And we're moving towards Q4 and winter winter season of the bull run which happened four years ago and now is uh expected to happen again uh, so a lot of positive things are happening could 60 cents really be the start of a rally so let's go through this article let's talk about some things that are uh that are top of mind for this video as fundamental and technical indicators become increasingly bullish, it seems that a breakout may be in the cards for XRP. Now, over the past 24 hours, the XRP price has remained moderately unfazed. Uh, they're just talking about the, a 0.08% gain, which is, is very uh, it's very minor. But again, we're moving in the positive direction. A technical pattern brewing since March 2020 is on the cusp of a breakout. Indeed, this negligible movement is a step back from the Fed cut rate fueled uh, growth observed last week, with XRP retaining a 50 point. 0.53% gain. Uh, I just mentioned this a second ago. Uh, it's a very positive and a positive sign that we're moving out of a recession when when the uh, when the United States of America drops uh, the interest rate by pretty much any amount, but 50 points itself, it's already a very big deal. However, this may indicate that XRP is corrected and found its footing following significant volatility. Although XRP may not be as hot right now, with its trading volume down another 3.17% uh, in the past 24 hours, stability may be what the altcoin needs before its next move. Now let's talk about the four-year triangle breakout. A closer look at the XRP chart reveals that the technical indicators have become increasingly bullish in favor of an upward breakout of the four-year symmetrical triangle. And as you can see here, the green box is essentially their, the, the future, what we think is the future is going to look like with the arrow directing the price action to be moving towards uh, the, the upper side of, of resistance. Uh, as you can see here, 1.56 resistance, 1.31 is a resistance, 86 cents, 66 cents. Again, there's a lot of significant resistance points that we really do have to break before we get to uh, our, our previous highs and even the, the, the our, our highest high, which was at um, about 384 and different platforms. But anyways, as you can see here, there is a triangle forming and, and the way a triangle has to form it or is the the, the way that, that we how we see if there's evidence or not of a triangle being there a, a triangle pattern is if there's been multiple points at the top of the triangle and the bottom of the triangle that have touched a line, a straight symmetrical line um, that will essentially tell us that there's evidence that support or resistance as such. Like for example, look here, right? The bottom of the triangle is formed by the many points where the, the, the price has bounced off of. So in, in other words, that's the support. That's what you call support on a, on a technical uh, uh, viewpoint of this chart. It touched over here, it touched over here, and it touched pretty much multiple times over here showing that there's clear, there's a clear level of support that is forming around this entire bottom line of the triangle. Now let's look at the other side, the resistance levels. Well, every single time the price basically uh, touches this line, it, it seems to kind of reject and, and it comes back down a little. Now, it doesn't necessarily mean something, but what it what it looks like here is that there's there's a formation of a triangle pattern, and and this is by the way, guys, uh, in the last since 2021 or 2020 March that that we've been kind of kind of forming this triangle, and so what we're hoping here is that the price squeezes so much by the end of this point where it's it kind of consolidates at this level so that it can continue to form and complete that triangle pattern. And from there, we see a bullish breakout. That's the goal. That's what we're looking towards. Most significantly, it seems that XRP has found comfort in its new bullish lean as its RSI, which is the relative strength index, remains firm in its position above the neutral line, currently at 60, um, which essentially means that it's oversold. Now, what we're looking for here is that the more oversold it is, the more possibility there are of, of the of, of the 
of the coin or the asset moving in, the, in a positive or a bullish way. Although this is neutral, it exhibits a strong bias towards buying pressure. The sentiment is mirrored by the chain monkey flow CMF, which is gradually moving away from negative territory week on week. It's now at negative 06, just half of what it was at the start of the month. Meanwhile, as the MACD line maintains a comfortable lead above the signal line, it seems that bulls are in control. That's all we want to hear. The bulls are in control. The bull market is coming up. There's the feds. The feds are cutting rates. Um, there's there's a lot more volume, more volatility, uh, which can be, be good or bad. But in this scenario where there's a lot of, of volume on the bullish side and, and as and buying pressure is building up, there's more probability that we're going to see a lot of the highs that we saw, I don't know, the last bull run in the last four or five years. Despite this correction, XRP has decisively maintained its position above the 200 EMA after reclaiming it at 52 cents, a strong demand zone since early July. But that basically a demand zone is, is an area where it won't fall below. And that's because every time it does fall below that, it, it gets picked up. More people want to purchase the asset just because it's at a price where uh, most investors or retail investors think that the the price is is undervalued. From the XRP price to continue its upward trajectory, the price must break the 60 cent level and reclaim the 200 SME support. But again, once it does break that level, a clean break above these level will signal the potential for a larger rally and a shift in market sentiment. The extent of such a move could trigger a 225% rally and the coming months reclaiming the past high of $1.97. And so we're just going to have to pretty much wait and see and, and kind of push as much as we can, um, support as, support wherever we possibly can, um, just because this is exactly how the bull market was four years ago, where XRP picked up a lot of tra uh, traction, there was momentum, there was a lot of positive catalysts coming out at the same time their, their product was doing phenomenally well their their software solutions the the ledger was doing well and, and and being adopted in many different banks and areas and so that's kind of what rallied it all the way to i don't know thousands of percentages up uh, of where it began from that is all for today's video thank you guys so much for watching if you have any questions or concerns or, or how if you want to talk about xrp any questions leave it in the comment section below and i'll take a look uh thanks again for watching we'll see you in the next one peace